So I had a decent day at the uh, at a garage sale, and I uh, was able to pick up four what we call beaters, perhaps. Um, but these are typically figures that aren't in great shape and can be customized or modded uh, to however you want. So this includes the Iron Sheik, Bruce Beefcake, Hulk Hogan, and a better Hulk Hogan, which I think I may just repaint. <clears throat> not necessarily that it's a beater because the paint's not too bad overall so this one might just a repaint be a repaint and then a sell or give away to somebody that I know um, but what I want to do is I want to show you uh, a shorter version of how to clean up your figure because I do have a slick video which is a little bit longer uh, and this one I just want to talk about <clears throat> what you can do to help yourself out and I've already given him a hot bath for about an hour um, with pretty hot water and um, some uh, dish soap but I want to show you there are elements that I cannot get off uh, and these would be any of the deep green which are actually inside um, the plastic so this is typically I think people just consider this to be like mold or something um, so he's got this all over so you say well what are you gonna do you gonna throw this away no uh, I'll just do a total repaint I can put a t-shirt on him <clears throat> I can just give him a darker color tone, uh, and that's fine. I have no problem with it. Uh, but it seriously looks like he lost a battle with uh, some markers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up uh, and show you real quickly what I can do with this because he is completely covered in marker and other elements, and you can take this stuff off, and I want to show you how. Okay, so what I have is I have a little uh, lid. I'm going to take some of nail polish remover. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. I think this is like a two dollar bottle or something. And you take some q-tips. I'm gonna push this over a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry I ate something before it came down so uh, I got something in my throat. So anyways um, I'm gonna attack any of the colors that I can find. Sorry if I wiggle the camera a little bit. I got it sitting in my lap. Any of the colors that do not look like it's almost a bruise or such are gonna easily be cleaned up. And so what we'll do is we'll attack his arm. And you can see just from his bicep, all of that stuff is coming off. Let's attack his chest a little bit. Again, I'm not, I have no idea what who he was wrestling or what he was doing here, but got all this junk all over him. And this is actually going to clean off really well, and this will work for most of your figures. <clears throat> I wonder how many people just gave their stuff away because they thought that they were super dirty or didn't have any luck on them. And just look right at that. Now I use Q-tips because you can fold the head of it really well and uh, kind of conforms to your hand. And you can put pressure on it, which also helps as well. So see here, right off the bat, <clears throat> I can't apologize if this camera wiggles a little bit. I'm trying not to move my lap too much. Look how clean that chest already got. But now here's that ingrain part, which can be mold. Uh, it can be also ink. Ink is terrible to get on these things because that just seeps into his skin. So that's why that's gonna need to be a total repaint. So even this black, really what this is, is just a streak. Uh, kind of like a scuff on a floor. If you can imagine that, if you've ever seen a, like a school floor, like I see this all the time where I teach, and it's a lot of times what they just do is take <laughs> really a, a tennis ball on a stick and just cleans it off, bam, just like that. So here's Hogan, um, I'm gonna show you the before, and now I'm gonna clean them, take about 10 minutes or so, uh, and I'll show you uh, the after. Uh, again, won't be able to get that molding off, but still the rest of it will look pretty good. All right, here's the mighty Hulkster, all cleaned up, all the paint off of it. There you go, see? How simple that is. I know some people really get complex with cleaning these guys up. Uh, and sometimes people throw these guys out just because of how gross they look. But honestly, a good hot bath, good scrubbing, and then nail polish remover and your Q-tips like I've got there. And a lot of that stuff comes off. But again, some of it won't. Look at how deep that actually is. So he's got some green on his face. So again, it's mold or ink I think there's some ink somewhere on here like that is ink I couldn't get in there you can just tell that it's a little bit different so I'm not against keeping his figure I'm going to it'll just be a custom so 
that's how easy cleaning these figures are. You, anybody can do it. Um, and actually with most of my figures that I've done, uh, starting with some of these guys all the way back here, they were all dirty at some point and the Q-tips and the nail polish remover worked really well. So there you go. There's the Hulkster.